Hello, in this video, we will see how to use Gmail in Thunderbird email client software. Email client softwares are basically email softwares where you can add multiple email accounts and manage them using the same single interface instead of logging into each email account. That's about email clients in short. Here are some of the advantages of using email client softwares, which I've listed. You can post the video and read. So for me, the major advantage is that I can manage multiple email accounts in a single software. I don't have to log into each email service and uh, I can also access emails offline, meaning emails which are already downloaded before I can access anytime I want without connecting to the internet. So that is one big advantage. So before we can add Gmail to Thunderbird, there's something we need to do and that is to go to Gmail settings and enable POP or IMAP. Now POP and IMAP are two different uh, technologies, email technologies, so you can read it online. What are the differences between them? So let's see how to add Gmail to Thunderbird. So the first thing we need to do is to download the Thunderbird email client software, which you can do so from thunderbird.net. So after you have installed, start Thunderbird email client and you will see a window like this. Or you can simply close this and start over from here by clicking on the email button. So here you'll have to provide the name and email address and the email password. So I'm entering my Gmail address and my Gmail password. I remember password I will check so that I don't have to enter the password again and again. We can also set up manually, but that won't be necessary. We can just click continue and Thunderbird will try to log into Gmail using the credentials provided and find the necessary configuration. So here, as we can see, both the POP and IMAP details are found. Uh, I would prefer IMAP. You can read it online, the differences between IMAP and POP. But for this example, I will go with IMAP. So uh, next, just click done. And Thunderbird will set up the Gmail account. Uh, okay, there's one thing we need to do. We need to log into Gmail to allow Thunderbird access to Google account. So enter the email address and the Gmail password again. And allow access to Thunderbird. So we'll have to allow this. So once this is done, Thunderbird will set up Gmail. Uh, we have added Gmail successfully. After this, you can enable, as you can see, emails have already started coming. After this, you can explore other settings to configure your Thunderbird for this account. I will enable address and I will also enable access to the uh, Google Calendar. Okay, so once I'm done with this, I am already seeing some alerts from my Google Calendar. All right, you can explore some other configurations here, like for example, uh, setting up email signatures, and you can also um, configure certain settings such as where you want to put your trash where you want to send your junk email and things like that you can explore the settings the good thing is that you can configure so many things and use it as you can convenient so we are done we can start using Gmail in Thunderbird. As you can see, I have emails already from Gmail in Thunderbird. So likewise, if you want to add more email addresses in Thunderbird, you can do so by following the same process. Uh, and you will be able to manage uh, multiple accounts in Thunderbird without leaving Thunderbird basically. So if you want to add one more email address, you should go to Tools and account settings and from there click on account actions and then click on add email account so after you've done this you will see the same page where you have to enter your email address and your email password 
and then the same process will continue so with this you will be able to add another email address in Thunderbird so that you can manage both the emails without leaving Thunderbird you won't need to log into your email service accounts using a web browser so that's all in this video thank you so much for watching